Hi guys, Chris Parkin here, and I just thought I'd do a quick um, brief on XF data, and this is the information that obviously your camera captures um, in a science, um, as part of the image. And it's something that you have to have when you're submitting stuff to us, um, because we use it as part of the, the criteria to make sure that you've actually met what the assignment says. Um, often we're after you to do specific things with it, um, i.e. with a landscape we're asking, we're asking you to do a um, an exposure, uh, use an f-stop that is going to be give you a great depth of field which means it's going to need to be a high number. Um, with the portrait ones then we want a shallow depth of field so you have Bokka, um and the night images there's generally a time frame attached to them. So first things first is you need to know how to be able to check them. Um, now if you're in Lightroom it's quite nice and simple it comes up as part of the um, the settings when you're in library and it'll just come up under the histogram. Um, However, some of you won't have that, so let's just go to Explorer. Um, now, I don't have a Mac, so I'm going a little bit stuck on this one, but if you Google XF Data Mac, um, then you will come up with the, the information as to how to get at it. But basically, if you're in Windows, and it's a similar thing in the Mac, um, you right-click on the image, get your properties, go to Details, and then you can see the exposure time, the ISO, and um, the focal length of the lens and all that other information. So when you've exported your image from um, Lightroom uh, or um, Photoshop um, and you've done your, your adjustments and you're about to name it and send it off, just double check that you have actually still got all that information there. If you haven't, something's gone wrong with your exportation method and you need to go back to looking at how you're doing that and check that you're following our instructions. Um, if you're still, if you are following those instructions and it's something else is still going wrong, then drop your tutor a line with a description of exactly what you're doing and we'll try and sort it out. Um, so that's one thing with that. The other way of checking it, of course, is in Photoshop itself. Um, which I'll just pause while I boot up. Right, so we're in Photoshop and I've opened up Adobe Camera Raw, which is where you're going to be doing all your editing. And again, it comes up with your ex, um, your XF data up here. Um, and so, yeah, nice and easy to spot. If you're not sure what you what your settings were when you took the um, the shot, then you can always double check them. And it's always worth double checking that you've actually done what the task was um, before you upload them and giving yourself a day or so to to do a reshoot if you have managed to mess it up. Um, we do ask for fairly specific tasks because that's making sure that you know how to use your camera. Um, and so yeah, just pay attention to to that as well. Um, and hopefully that's a, a very, very short introduction to that XF information. But now if you're looking at your rubric and it says contact your tutor about it, you know exactly what it is. Okay guys, I hope you have a good week. Cheers. Bye.